Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are over on Ark Survival Ascended and yes, I am super stoked to be playing, but there's a really cool update that just got kind of with the whole new everything that kind of got put to the wayside that no one noticed and it's got something to do with underwater bases and it's a massive, massive change. Now, people aren't going to recognize it right off the bat because it's something that's kind of difficult to notice is there. Um, but let me tell you what, it is a really, really cool update. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a ton. So let's go ahead and show you. First off, they completely revamped how underwater base building works and how it, everything can be done. You do not need any form of tech um, reinforcement or tech anything in order to run the new um, underwater compartments, right? So these things can be placed on any connection. I'm just gonna slowly see if I can get to one right now. Uh, wow, okay, there we go. So when you place this thing, it's gonna basically ask you to unlock it. Now, once you unlock it, you can move the door and it serves immediately without a generator in order to give you access to going inside of the tube. Now you can literally turn this thing into just an open air pocket in the bottom of the ocean, which is super cool and hide it as well. So no one's gonna be able to see it. So hide all connected frames. So see how I've done this right now. We've literally got a no sides air pocket in the middle of the ocean that no one's gonna notice is there. We're gonna go ahead and open that top one too. And you can literally do this without having access to a generator. Now that's, you know, what's the value of that, right? Because you're like, teacher, okay, what's, what's the reason you even give a crap about this? Now, let me show you why this is actually important, right? So you can build tech structure very, very easily inside of the ocean now. And that's a super huge feature that a lot of people don't realize why it's so important because you can make massive underwater bases anywhere. You used to not be able to do that because you couldn't really tame, th not tame things, but use things underwater very easily. Um, and that's a big problem when you're trying to actually get access to stuff, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unlock all connected structures and I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna show you why this is so cool. So we just dropped through that, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this guy right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go outside and we're gonna go ahead and flood the compartment, which is pretty cool. So now I've got an entrance point into my little structure that I've got here. And uh, that's a very useful thing, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and move that. We actually opened it up now and we can go inside, right? So we've unlocked everything and all you have to do is go through and hit E in order to enable all of the walls in here in order to open these portals, right? Now, a cool thing that didn't used to exist is once you open these, they turn into one giant structure. It's not like it's one by one blocks. So you can't have large creatures inside of this thing. You can hide all these guys because they're not actually there. And you can make a massive base on the bottom of the ocean and literally in just about any crevice because in the bottom of the ocean there are so many little rat holes and stuff like that that you can accidentally run into or swim into and people will never know you're there because you can literally make atlantis in the bottom of the ocean as you can see i'm doing it right now and you can make this as many stories as you want but i'm just trying to prove my point right now right so now we've got a ladder using water which i think is the coolest thing in the world see how we've got an access point right there i'm just going to keep going here and open all these walls and show you what i am talking about all right so now you can do this this entire thing is wide open right you can see that i've got a lot of height in here if i was to raise it one more i could easily raise rexes in here and if i raised it two more i could easily raise the largest dinos in the game in here including giganotosaurus and the uh i guess the future the what i don't know what's technically called the ones that are bigger than the brontos but you can make this as many layers as you want and it works without having a tech generator. So you just need the vacuum compartments in order to make a massive underwater base. Now, the one thing I really like about this, right, is this entire thing you can literally use like water as a actual ladder inside of your base. So I can use that to jump out and I can get off on any layer that I feel like it. So this entire thing can just be placed in the bottom of the ocean for successful base building at any point in time. And I think that is super cool because for PVP, it means people are gonna actually have to use the ocean. And that's something that didn't have to get done before. And you can have these like underwater areas where you just hide loot or you move around and you can do whatever you need to. And uh, yeah, there are really strong underwater um, rating tools. However, if you can get a sneaky enough location or a rat hole where no one knows and put some defenses up, 
dude, this could be a really cool thing. They kind of snuck this in there, um, but they totally reworked how tech works and underwater tech. Like you can make an epic base using this. So anyways, hopefully this is something that you think is cool. If not, I'm sorry, I'm trying. I like this kind of stuff. This is what I really enjoy in the game when they add these weird little features that you're like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. And uh, yeah, I'm super stoked for it. So hopefully you are too. And uh, other than that, teach out.